Gamera is a fictional giant monster. His first appearance in 1965's Gamera the Invincible was initially produced to rival the success of Toho's Godzilla series. However, the friend of all children has gained fame in its own right and was featured on American television through American International Pictures and Mystery Science Theater 3000. Gamera is really neat. Gamera is filled with meat. We've been eating Gamera. Although the Gamera franchise produced less than 12 films, the underlying theme of the friend of all children is deeply rooted in homophobia and has parallels to the transatlantic slave trade. 1966's War of the Monsters premise is very simplistic. A group of cis, able-bodied men were sent to an island to receive a mysterious opal. En route to Japan, a character by the name of Onodera accidentally leaves the opal behind in his room, exposing it to an infrared light. Barugan possesses two abilities, a freeze ray and a rainbow ray. Many attempts were made to dodge the freeze ray, however, none were successful. Whenever Barugan fires his rainbow ray, it symbolizes the LGBT community fighting against systemic oppression for gay rights. Although Barugan appears to be a threat against Japan, Gamera demonstrated his homophobia once he killed off the gay black beast. And although Barugan's egg turned out not to be an opal, the egg symbolizes a recent scientific breakthrough in which gay couples could have their own biological children, carrying traits from both parents. It was only fitting that Onodaro was eaten by the very thing he brought into this world. 1969's Attack of the Monsters features an otherworldly monster by the name of Giron. At first glance, he may appear as the oppressor with his knifehead ability, but the reality is the polar opposite. Like a black slave unwilling to obey his master, Giron reluctantly fights Gamera through the orders of his supremacist alien overlords. And like with black slaves, Giron is caged in a small space, resembling the harsh conditions of the good ship Jesus. Because of post-traumatic slave syndrome, Giron fights against the monster Gauss, and like Kunta Kinte's slave masters, proceeds to cut off its limbs. Oh, you're spent. No. no more running for you, boy. No! No pain! No. No. This theme of self-enslavement continues in 1968's Destroy All Planets, when a group of aliens with the same post-traumatic slave syndrome proceed to sacrifice their lives to form the monster, Viras. Google this. I must have all of your lives. No, master, no. Gamera's intersectional underpinnings are quite problematic. Although there have been less than 12 films in the franchise, not a single one featured a black body, further displaying its racism against people of color. If the friend of all children wants to remain relevant, it must change its undertones for future entries to come. 